What really hurts me is my kids come home and you know and complain that they're being bullied. This and that. That's kind of hard because I was bullied my entire school. You know, I grew up in the trailer court. I was poor. I dressed funny. Shoved in trash cans. Shoved in lockers. You know, beat up, spit on, punch, kick, trip, everything. And, and I know how my kid's going through, and it, you know, it it hurts. You know, the school systems need to do more. You know, I understand as a parent, we need to teach our kids. You know, it's not it's not right to make fun of other kids. Because, you know, there's kids that take their own life because of this. They, 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 they just can't take it no more, you know? I have a speech problem. So does my daughter. My other daughter gets picked on, too, because, you know, boys punch her, kick her, and that stuff. And if she fights back, she gets in trouble. So, so how is it right for a boy to lay his hands on a girl? And, you know, my daughter tried to protect herself, and, you know, they both got suspended. Right. But, you know, this, this was an ongoing problem, you know. It just... It's an ongoing problem. And, and schools just... You know, the teachers claim they don't never see that. How can you not see something that's in your own classroom? I know because teachers turn their head, you get smacked in the back of the face, smacked in the back of the neck, kicked, tripped, and you know, you try to say something, or what'd you do to them? It's always not what about you, you do to someone else. You know, school, and, and you know, we talked to the school about it, they said they'll fix the problem. And it's still happening. Like last year, my daughter was in a play, and she had a lead role, and she didn't want to do it because boys were making fun of her talk. You know, I know what it's like to have a, you know, made fun of because of your speech or your grammar. I still get made fun of because I talk funny, I have messed up teeth, this and that. You know, I grew up poor. I, yes, I like I said, I grew up in the trailer court. And kids were mean. We didn't have, you know, the ability to live in a, a million dollar house, drive a $70,000 car, or this and that, you know. It's hard to make friends. Or, you know, it's, it's hard to find a girlfriend. You know, because the way I look, you know, where I lived, I didn't even have my own car. I couldn't afford it. M my first job was McDonald's, helping take care of my mom because my dad was on the road half my life. I, ne I you know, it's not my dad's fault. He was trying the best he could, how he could afford. So what I did, I worked. I worked on a strawberry farm, you know. Picking strawberries, you know, but when you see parents still making fun of kids or making fun of other people, you know, way I dress, I got messed up teeth, I drive a piece of shit car, kids are going to see that. They're not going to go to school and return it because they know, well, my mom and dad does it, so it must be alright. You know, we, we, we I couldn't afford nice clothes, you know, it just, my dad afforded what I can, you know, and you got made fun of because of the way you wear. You know, it, it needs to start somewhere where parents, you know, need to 
show their kids, making fun of other kids ain't right. Because in the long run, kids take their own life because of this. They're afraid to come out. I was afraid to come out. Because every time I went to the principal, I was told what to do to them. They took their side. So why go to the principal, you know, if I got punched, shoved in a locker, shoved in a trash can, spit on, my daughter got tricked, and she was afraid to tell anyone because, you know, the schools won't do anything because of this. Some will, some won't. I just don't understand what, what's so hard about schools and parents, you know, teaching bullying's not right. Or discipline the kids that do it because you know that kids that keep getting disciplined ain't going to do anything you know I just don't know why it, I know what it's like to get made fun of you know that's why I'm coming out you know because you know I'm tired of seeing my kids get hurt you know I just don't you know it, why make fun, a grown adult, why make fun of someone, you know, when their, their kids are going to see that and you need to be like, oh, look at him, he talks funny. Look at him, he has no teeth. Look, he dresses funny. You know, it's luckily I met my wife, at, you know, been with her almost 12 years and she takes me for who I am and not, you know, matter about looks. It's all, it's all a matter of what's inside, you know, not by, you know, Look at them, they walk to school, they have to ride a bike, and I got it, you know, a Mercedes, you know. Why you talk funny? Why you dress funny? Why you look funny? You know, my kids, it is to the point where they don't want to do any school activities because we keep telling the principal, and the principal, they'll take care of it. Well, they might go one time, but the next time, it just keeps going and going and going, you know, I just... How can you not see something go on in your own school? Kids getting made fun of. You know, it's like, it's who you are. It's all about what you do to them. Why did they punch you? What did you say to them? It's because you guys get tired of getting picked on. You know. And you just lash out. Whether you kick them back, hit them. You know, what, what you can. Don't let it build up. Go to your parents and say, look, this person's making fun of me. They kicked me. You know, they spit on me. They tripped me. I don't want to go to the school play. I don't want to be in it. Because all I do is make fun of how I talk. You know, is this... Having a speech problem really sucks. And, you know... I'm still getting made fun of as an adult. That's why I stick to myself. I don't like talking to anyone, you know. But I just wish this bully would stop. But please, come out and go to your mom or dad. Don't go to the principal unless, it, you know, they talk to you and say it. Because you, you're going to let it build up and you're just going to, you know, have no friends. And sorry to say, some kids just commit suicide because they, they don't want to live through it no more. No one will want to be their friend. No one will want to date them. No one wants to do this. You know, I'm too poor to go, you know, do this. You know, I didn't even have friends come over when I was in school. I was ashamed of how I lived. You know, I lived in the trailer court, all of this, you know. But I'm tired of the school systems not helping. It's like you go to them and they say, what did you do? You know, why does it keep happening? You know, it's ongoing process. It don't stop. It just keeps going and going and going. But you know, and parents, you need to teach your kids. It's not right to make fun of. You know, if they make fun of you, tell your mom and dad or, you know, just don't fight it back, you know, because it's not worth fighting back because it, it just adds, you know, the bullier on. They think it's funny. 
They think you're, it's funny because you're snitching. Well, you know, if you're not going to tell anyone, you're just going to want it taking your own life. You just can't take it no more. You don't want no friends. You, it's hard to get made fun of. You know, you, you want to slit your wrist, hang yourself. And that's all because parents and schools won't step up. You know, if you're getting bullied, don't go back to them and just make it worse on yourself. And like, you know, start stuff. I, I don't know what to say, you know. Just stand up for yourself and don't let it just keep happening. If you don't stand up for yourself, they're just going to keep doing it. I mean, it's it's not worth having friends because you bully someone, or you they think it's fun because you're making fun of some other kid in class. But please take the time and talk to your kids and school, and just don't keep it bottled up because you know it, it is going to it's going to drive you crazy where you want to think about cra doing crazy stuff. So, crazy day, I'm out.